Hi everyone! In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use animation curves to disable IK. In this tutorial, we'll be using the roll ability that we set up in a previous video, and we'll just make sure that her feet are not IKing while she's rolling. And this is my own project that is using Lyra as a base. Let's search for dash and then open up dash forward, the animation montage. And you'll notice that they use this curve, disable leg IK. And if we go ahead and change that to just zero, I'll undo that in a sec. So if you play the game now with that off, uh, you can press F10 to maximize your viewport, which is very nice. So yeah, it's kind of hard to see because it happens so fast. Let's just do slow-mo. 0.1 should be good. So yeah, let's dash forward. And you'll see that the, the legs are, are popping all over the place. Or even better, I guess I could just dash and eject. The turnaround is so good. Um, yeah, so let's just jump dash F8 to on possess. And yeah, you can see that the feet are trying to IK to the floor while you're dashing. And let's press F10 again. Stop. And then I'll reopen this and I will just undo my changes. All right. And then let's play again. So yeah, I will put it on slow-mo. Jump, dash, eight. Cool, so now you can see that the atom montage is not trying to do anything funky with the, the feet. And you'll, all see, you'll also see she probably actually does go through the floor or something because it's using all the animation data. So I was looking into this because I wanted to figure out how to not do any foot IK while rolling. Um, and it was interesting for me to find out about these things called atom curves. I'm just going to reopen that one. And uh, I noticed that there was a disable leg IK in the animation blueprint, uh, but it was really hard to find where it's being used. Um, so if you go to tools, finding blueprints, and then if you type in disable leg IK, okay, you'll see that they're used in three places. I'm just going to go ahead and open all of them. Okay, so that one, and then this one. Okay. So it's used to uh, determine if you should be using the control rig. Uh, but the one I'm most interested in is the foot placement. It uses pretty much that function should enable foot placement to determine if it should do foot IK. So should enable foot placement is, is and your blueprint and then I think it's I'll just search for it should enable foot placement okay and basically it just looks to see if the curve value is um, below or equal to zero so in our dash forward we are setting it to uh, let's just edit curve we are setting it to one and then back to zero so we are disabling the foot IK uh, for this duration. So right when we go up on the in the air and a little bit before we're landing just to make sure that uh, they still IK once they land. Um, yeah, so essentially if any of your montages that are playing are setting the curve value to non-zero um, or higher than zero, it will disable the leg IK. And it uses this also, which I haven't looked into it yet. Um, so just make sure that 
can we actually or do we want to use the foot IK? Um yeah, so at at first I was wondering where that curve value was coming from or how it's set. Um if you search you don't really find much, like you just find these three spots. But what you can do is you can go to your window, atom curves, and then you'll see all these curves that uh, can pretty much be referenced in any of the montages or animation blueprint logic. And uh, those are a bunch of curves you can play with. Uh, and then if you search, it's, I think it's, it's sorted alphabetically, which is nice. Uh, so here's our disable leg IK curve. Yeah, so you can see there's also a disable left hand IK, right hand IK. Um, so if there's any uh, animation where, let's say you're you're putting one of the hands off of the gun and you're waving or something, you can complete you you can use these curves to just to make sure that the hand IK isn't interfering with the montage that you are meaning to play. I've opened my own project and opened up the AM roll. This is the animation montage that I pretty much make from the tutorial about gameplay abilities and setting up the role ability. Um, so yeah, just go ahead and in your project, if you have that uh, animation montage already, or if you have if you have another animation montage, like um, let's say uh, like a hit a hit react where you're slightly thrown in the air or something, you you don't want the feet to IK to the floor. Um, so yeah, so go ahead and open that. Yeah, to add the curve to disable the foot IK, uh, just click on the down arrow. So curves, add curve, and then just search for IK. And then it'll be the disable leg IK. Okay, and so far our animation, uh, this can still be okay, I can touch the ground. And then we should probably start uh, ignoring the foot IK right about here. Um, so I will just go and edit the curve. You can middle mouse click to add a keyframe. And let's put that... Oh! <laughs> and we also need to add one at zero, so it stays at zero. Um, so this one, I will just set it to one, so that we disable the foot IK. And... Okay, so... Once you're around here, we do want that IK to start kicking in. So again, middle mouse click and then middle mouse click for the last one. This will be uh, zero. And then if you click it and shift, you can move it and it'll constrain it to the axis that you want. Um, and then, yeah, we can select all of this uh, just for good measure, I guess. We can just like auto do it. Um, and these ones can just be flat at the top. And there you go. So it doesn't matter that much that it lurps uh, because it, uh, as we saw in the animation blueprint, it just checks to see if the disable foot IK is zero uh, is less than zero. And yeah, so the foot location won't be affected by the foot IK uh, during this whole segment. Okay, so let's save this and we will play. Okay, so I'm just going to minimize this, maximize that. Let's play. Okay, so. Okay, so I will do slow motion. Okay, so now if you go, you'll see that the feet are exactly as they are in the montage. And then the foot IK kicks in at the end of the animation. So there you go. Now we have a way of disabling IK within montages and the animation curves opens a whole new world of modifying animation through curves, most specifically how to disable IK while a animation montage is playing. 
So we want the animation to look exactly like the montage and, and not be affected by IK in certain parts of the animation. Thanks for watching.